Hey there VC, I'm back with another finds video. With this I got some cool rarities to show. Normally I start with singles, but today I'm going to start with albums. This is a UK Mono first issue of the Beatles Revolver. Um, it's in okay condition actually. Um, I got it for a good price, which is why I picked it up. Um, it has a flip back sleeve, but one of them's been repaired because it broke. And the laminate on the bottom of this entire flap has peeled off, and including just some over here, but it's not too big of an issue. It doesn't really affect it too much. Um, overall, it's still a pretty good presentation copy. There's always room to upgrade. Um, here's the spine on it. Not sure how well that's going to come through. Um, has the original inner. And the disc on it's pretty decent. Um, it's like, you know, VG minus. There's a little bit of writing on the label. But an interesting thing is the label has two different fonts. So it's like two different label variations. Look at this label. Now look at side two. Very interesting there. Um, th these are the Dash 2 matrixes, so it doesn't have the uh, recalled version of Tomorrow Never Knows. But that'd be really nice to have. But like I said, this, there's always room to upgrade this one. It's just a really good collection filler copy, I suppose. Um, next one I have to show is a rarity. And I um, got it from the store owner, and he didn't really want to sell it. He just kind of had it on the shelf. And um, he, he said in the 10 years that he's been buying and reselling, he's never had one of these in the store. So I picked it up. It's another one that's kind of like a filler copy. It's the Shangri-La's Leader of the Pack. Um, very famous song, a very famous girl group. They uh, they had other hits like Remember Walking in the Sand, Shout, Give, Give Them a Great Big Kiss, and of course they're probably their biggest known hit, Leader of the Pack. Uh, there's tape on it. You know, it's kind of a filler copy, but then again, it's also a very hard to find album. Very, very hard to find. Um, it's an original on the Redbird label. Um, like I said, this is a filler copy, and I'm not sure if you could see it in the light, but it has scratches. None of them are deep, though. They're all just superficial, and it, and it plays pretty well. Um, but it's still a good collection filler until I could find a better one. Um, it just has ring wear and, you know, of course, the old tape on the bottom. But I'm not really going to complain, because it's not one that I had before, one that I've seen before in that case, either. But, um, very welcome addition to my collection. The rest of these are dollar bin finds until I go into the singles. The Mothers of Invention from the, uh, uh, I don't know what series this is, Golden Archive Series by MGM Records. This is the Mothers of Invention. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Um, it was, it's really nice for a dollar bin. You can see what songs are on there and other albums are featured in this series. And the disc on it's pretty solid. I played it, I enjoyed it, played very well throughout. So very nice one to have in the collection it uh has stuff from freak out we're only in it for the money pretty much all their stuff on verve up until they swapped into warner reprise i believe um so yeah pretty much the stuff from like 66 to about 68 this is the best of tommy james and the shondells normally i see this as a unit pack but this one just opens up like a regular gatefold so i thought that was very interesting um Pretty nice condition too, um, nice solid copy. I played it, plays really, really well, and the cover's in really nice shape, so for a dollar I'm not gonna pass it up. Next one is kind of a filler copy, but it's one that, uh, it's not too hard to find, but I picked it up because I don't have it. Uh, Volunteers by Jefferson Airplane, like I said, it's a filler copy. It's kind of beat up, but it's not too bad. Um, disc on it is pretty nice. It's not on the Dynaflex, which every time I see this album, it's on Dynaflex. This one is on actual good quality vinyl, so I picked it up just because that and the disc is in nice condition. I could always upgrade the cover, because the cover is what has the issues on Let me show you the spine, because the spine is pretty, pretty tattered on it. Last album before I go on to singles, this is another upgrade for me. Book of Dreams by the Steve Miller Band. Um, it's a pretty nice copy. My other copy had a slight warp, so it was a... I just didn't feel comfortable playing it with that warp. Um, original inner. Disc on it's pretty nice too, just has mild scratches and scuffing. Nothing too bad. Still has a very nice luster and shine to it. Plays really nice. I'd have to say there's a lot of spindle marks on it though, so someone has definitely well enjoyed this album, but at the same time they haven't abused it. So, nice finds for that. I'm gonna go on to singles now. And I was really excited to grab all these singles, because all these singles came from one trip to the thrift store. And um, all of them, not all of them, I'd say about 
80% of them are about near mint condition with either picture sleeve or company sleeve. This first one is kind of a grail for me, and I hate the term grail actually, um, but it's a very hard to find single and it's near mint condition. Sea Line Woman by Nina Simone with the original sleeve. Just a beautiful condition vinyl on this. It's, it's about near mint. It is absolutely beautiful. Not really any issues with it. And the flip side on this is I love your loving ways. Very hard to find a single. So if you find this, definitely get it. It's a great song too. Very, very wonderful song. Um, this is one that isn't so hard to find, but it's with the picture sleeve and it's pretty nice. Most of all by the Cowsels, backed with Siamese Cat. Another one with the vinyl on it is just stunning. Looks unplayed. Here's an interesting one. Um, Sitting on a Fence by Twice As Much. This is a song that was written by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. And they gave it to these guys, and it was a mild hit for them back in 66, I believe. Another one just looks minty, minty condition. B-side on this one is Baby I Want You. This is an interesting one. The Wonder Who, On the Good Ship, Lollipop, backed with You're Nobody Till Somebody Loves You. Uh, blank flip side on that. But um, in case you've never heard of The Wonder Who, that's the four seasons under a different name. This one's probably been played like once or twice, but other than that, it's about near mint. Um, it just has very, very mild markings on it, and that's only on side one. Side two um, really doesn't have anything, and I believe the markings from this is just from being put in on the sleeve. This sleeve doesn't have splits either, and it's a very, very thin sleeve. But yeah, four seasons there. Uh, I got this one just because it looked psychedelic and I thought it looked really cool. Billy Maxted takes a trip Rem with the songs Reverend Square and In a Persian Market. It's kind of like jazzy kind of stuff. Um, I just got it because I thought the sleeve looked, you know, very interesting. It's definitely a sign of the times. Another one that looks just beautiful, almost unplayed. Richard Chamberlain doing his songs Join the Morning and April Love. Um, I got this because I know Richard Chamberlain is an actor. Forgot what movies he's been in, but um, this one, another one, beautiful condition. And plus it has a picture sleeve, so I'm not going to pass this up. It's just kind of easy listening stuff. It's nothing that interesting, but, you know, since the records are like 59 cents a piece, they're a good price. A World Without Love by Peter and Gordon. This one's been played, but it's still, you know, at least VG+. Plus. It played back pretty well, and it looks really nice. It just has very mild scratches flip side on this is if I were you here's another um, one let me just rotate this to where you know it'll show it nicely in the sleeve nobody I know by Peter and Gordon another Lennon McCartney song the flip side on this is you don't have to tell me and the disc on this is another one VG plus it's been played but not abused played really well this one is another near mint one love is a drug by Roxy music with the flip side being both ends burning on Atco Records. Really nice condition disc on that one. Not sure how well it's coming through though, but it's pretty nice. Uh, another one, Near Mint, She's Gone by Hall & Oates. With the B-side being, I'm Just a Kid, Don't Make Me Feel Like a Man. Um, this is probably their earliest hit, I believe. Another one that looks just beautiful, almost unplayed. Actually, let me see this again, because something's showing up in the glare. I think it's there's not really any marks on it. I'm not sure how well it's showing up. There's not really any marks on it. Um, Love You So Much by The New Colony 6, backed with Let Me Love You on Centaur Records. Another one looks pretty much unplayed. This one is signed, but it's not really that interesting. It's My Heart Is Fooling Me by Billy Glenn and Shelley Taylor, backed with Help Yourself. Um, I got this because it's a private press, and the people who performed on it signed the sleeve. I'm not sure how well it's going to come through, though. There's that, and there's that right there. thought that was kind of interesting. Nothing really interesting on the record, though. Here's the final one. Sunday Will Never Be the Same by Spanky Inner Game, Back with Distance. This one's VG+. Plus. Actually, I'd say it's about excellent. It's a really nice condition. Um, you know, really nice. Haven't played that one yet, though. I do have some 8-tracks and cassettes to show. Here's the first 8-track. It is Stevie Wonder Talking Book. This one's really nice condition, if I could get it out. Uh, played really well. Really nice condition 8-track there. Here's the second one. It is Todd Rundgren Todd. Uh, it played pretty decently, but there was a lot of, uh, you know, flutter, stuff like that. 
but then again, you can't really expect too much from these eight tracks. And two cassettes, Eagles Greatest Hits, and uh, Eagles One of These Nights with the sticker on the top. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of these finds. And, uh, you know, if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.